Hey, this is Dave with Espresso Service Network, and today I'm going to go over adjusting your steam pressure, not to be confused with steam temperature, steam pressure, and your brew boiler steam temperature. Uh, this is going to be on the Linea uh, Classic, not the newest Linea, which is the Classic S. So this is on the older style Linea's that we'll go over. So the first thing you want to do is when adjusting your steam pressure, you never want to adjust it over 1.5 bar. And I would recommend not going under 0.8 bar. Uh, if you're looking for more control over your steam uh, for producing cappuccinos and doing latte art, uh, I would recommend changing out the steam tips for their, they have a competition steam tip or a latte art steam tip that is more restricted at the end uh, for, for you to have more control like that. Okay, and so it restricts the steam. Um, you said something earlier, you said to adjust the, temp the steam pressure in your brew boiler or? No, so oh. there's two boilers in a La Merzoco. Okay. You want to open up and... So first of all, whenever you're doing an adjustment on your steam pressure, you need to turn the machine off Ooh. because you're dealing with high voltages inside of the machine. So the on off is a three position switch. So you want to turn it to, to position zero, which is, should be straight up and down. Uh, position one is just to activate the electronics, so it will do boiler filling, uh, and then of course you can activate groups and stuff like that, but it will not heat, and position two is everything is on. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. Now we can remove our front panel, front top panel, and then our So here's our steam boiler. Our pressure switch is over here. It's that right there. And so how you're gonna adjust, this is the new newer style uh, switch. Uh, and so when you're adjusting it, you're just doing it in very small increments, like eighth turn, no more than a quarter turn increments. To do your adjustments so clockwise you're increasing the pressure counterclockwise you're decreasing the pressure okay if you have a really 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 old um, La Merzoco you may have this type of, of pressure switch in that case this is the opposite so to increase is going to be counterclockwise and of course on these old style switches you're going to do full turn increments to do a minor adjustment okay. so uh, once you do the adjustment you turn the machine on yes once you do the adjustment you turn the machine on um, uh, it, if you're not comfortable with high voltage, then I would hire a service tech. Um, or you can put the panels back on. Uh, there are still some uh, live high voltages up here at the top. So the these wires right here are always live if the machine is plugged in. And then of course that goes to the switch and then the switch controls the rest of these wires that are coming out. Okay. So with the switch off, everything up here has no voltage except for these two right here. Did you adjust the pressure? I did do a slide adjustment. Okay. So it's uh, it was at 1.3, so we did a slight adjustment. We'll see where it climbs to. How long will it take to climb? Uh, not even a minute. Okay, so uh, then after this, you're going to show us how to do the brew yeah, boiler. Yeah, after this, we'll do the brew boiler. And it's the temperature that we're adjusting. Yeah, the temperature. Okay. okay. So, steam boiler is pressure. Okay, yes. 
Now, on some manufacturers, if they're using digital probes and stuff like that, then yes, they may they may do temperature. And of course, the higher the temperature, the more pressure you'll have. The lower the temperature, the less pressure. Most most of them will not. Well, I so take on that. the linea the linea classic the when you set the temperature on the brew boiler that is the temperature for all groups for all groups yes even a four group a four group there will be two pit controllers okay so you'll have two two group boilers uh, gotcha okay and will one boiler feed two t groups and yeah, the other boiler yes. will feed okay yes that's great so if this were a four group you would have these two would would be adjusted by the, the left hand side and your other two over here would be on the right hand side. Excellent. Okay, thanks. So see I adjusted it up so now it's at 1.4 bar and keep in mind you never want to go up go above 1.5 bar. Yeah you said that. Okay great. Okay so brew boiler. So brew boiler let me go ahead and brew boiler you can leave the machine on. This is for anything the newer newer style that has the pig controllers. If you don't have a pig controller on your brew boiler, I suggest you either have it upgraded so that it does have it uh, because the old style thermostats are no longer available. Is there a benefit to the pig controller over the old style thermostat? Uh, yes, way way more accurate. Okay, because the, well, the, therm the mechanical thermostat is mechanical. Yeah, the mechanical so. thermostat is mechanical and it definitely had a variance. I've seen the variance up to 10 degrees. Oh, okay, great. So this is our, our pig controller. And of course, if we want to set the temperature, we'll hit the button once to set and then we can lower or raise and just hit set again. And that is our new wow. setting. Amen. Um, so I'm going to lower it. There we go. So the pit controller, do you buy from La Marzocco or? Yes, they sell them. Yeah, so if, if you need to upgrade it, they sell a kit specific for the machine. Okay. And it's, it comes with all the wiring that you're going to need. And it's very easy to have your service tech change out. Can we throw in a part number down below in the comments or in the yeah, description? Yeah, we can, we can, we can do okay. that, yes. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions about any of the machines that we cover, uh, go ahead and write down in the comments below.